All right, got a fresh lens on that camera. And boy, it needed it. Holy moly, it was all pitted up from welding and even grinding sparks seemed to damage it pretty good. Foggy, rainy day today. Actually kind of missed the rain a little bit. So good day, everybody. I think it is time to do a vlog. I haven't done one of these in a while. I've been too busy on an RV. Oh, there's some deers over there. I didn't even notice. The forests are lush and green and mossy. Full of fungus. The air smells incredibly fresh and clean and organic. It's a beautiful time of the year. I always like fall when the trees change color and there's pumpkins and Halloween. Decorations. I always like this time of the year. That's pretty cool. Oh, I love the Pacific Northwest forests. I will miss them if I ever leave. There's just so much to see. Never really uh, appreciated them like I do now. Being stuck out here, I had no choice but to start wandering around in the lower parts of the property. Just having a light rain today. I love it. I love the little, the sounds of droplets coming off the trees. Smell the fresh forest, clean air. This is awesome, I love it. This is my morning coffee. If I need to wake up for the day, I go on a little hike through the woods, on the trails. I like walking trails. Something about it just feels right. Exercise is good too. There's always something to see out in the forest. New trees falling over. Weird looking mushrooms. I found some the other day that looked like little cups. Thought that was pretty cool. Got a little fence that got a little fence damage looks like. Yeah, I don't do coffee, but I do do hiking. Gets the blood flowing. And I don't feel so groggy. Afterwards, I feel good. Beautiful forest. Beautiful Pacific Northwest forest. All right, you guys, a little update. Vlog, got a list here. Wiring up the RV, that's coming next. We're gonna get that thing started up and get our blood flowing. That or installing the air compressor. I'd like to pump the bags back up in the rear because I heard that's not a good thing to do. Um, 
leaving those deflated like that. Property. That's uh, on the list. Might as well talk about it. Never going to give up on that plan. We just couldn't go out there with a moldy RV. I would have been completely stranded if I'd gone out there and took the RV all apart. I also decided very firmly that I will not buy property in Oregon or anywhere in the left coast. Uh, a part of the reason why I've been putting more effort into hiking is just to enjoy the forest because I don't know when I'll be back once I finally leave. I was talking Montana, a very good Second Amendment state. You know, the 2A is very important to me, as it should be for you, and I'm tired of all the policies here in this area. So, I want to pack up my things, my money, and my business and take them to a state that deserves it. I was thinking Montana, but now I'm thinking Arizona. It's uh, got the same kind of deals like Oregon has with its owner financing thing with, with low down payments and low monthly payments. Um, actually, everything in Arizona is really good price, really good on pricing, like rentals that are just really good prices in Arizona. It's way down there, it's really hot, and it's a completely different change of scenery than what I'm used to. I don't think I'd like it at first. It doesn't really matter what I'd like. If that's the only place I can get land, then that's where I need to go. Because that is still in the plans. Getting a piece of property. Or a shop. They, they both kind of serve the same purpose, though. I'd much prefer my own land and not have to worry about huge monthly payments. I mean, I still got to worry about a lot of things and it's not going to be cheap either way but at least I can get my foot in the door with a piece of property with low payments um, to start off. In the meantime I might even just go with a larger storage unit because I just I don't have room for anything. But yeah Montana would be great it's more they got more trees or at least the area I want to go I was thinking Missoula Montana very beautiful state, oh my gosh. Um, on, uh, Arizona has also got some pretty beautiful uh, scenery. It's just more rocky and deserty and really hot. A lot of solar, so that's good. If things get better after elections, I might. there's a slim chance I might stay in Washington. Just because it's easier. It's my home, it's what I'm familiar with. I really don't want to leave. But I also would like to have my own place and that'll never happen with housing prices the way they are. I can't even get a rental. But we'll see. For right now, we're trapped here on the ranch until next summer-ish. Hopefully as early as possible. We'll get out of here. Early summer. Mid-summer at the latest. So, property. Still in the plans. This just might be a little bit of a process getting to there. Oh, I've seen some of you watching my older videos. Thank you so much for going back and checking out the old stuff and commenting and letting me know what you think. I love reading the comments and getting your guys' input. Product reviews. We've been doing a lot of those lately. Got a few more to do and then I'm going to cut back. I uh, I just don't have a lot of room for all this stuff. The batteries are pretty awesome. I can use, uh, you know, huge thanks to Red Odo for getting me into the lithium battery game. That's going to go into patches. We'll get a couple more videos out of that Red Odo. Um, it's going to be a great upgrade for patches and uh, I really look forward to not having to deal with those lead acid batteries anymore. So awesome upgrade. Thank you, Red Odo. I've got some diesel heaters reviewed. I might not have the second diesel heater video up yet, but that was pretty cool. Those are handy and uh, pretty important for winter. So I'm glad to have those. Um, but the Red Odo batteries, if you guys use the links below, it helps out the channel. We'll, put, uh, we'll start defaulting those links into the description on all the videos. So if you ever need a battery, come back to the channel and I'll have some links for you in the description. Renaming the RV. More than a few of you we're suggesting I should rename the RV. I think it still, it still looks like a patched up RV to me. I don't know, she, maybe not. Maybe she's just a steel box now, but that doesn't mean she won't get patched up in the future. I'll get some rusty spots and weld to patch on. I think she's always gonna be patches. Maybe we just call her Mad Patches now since, since she is a Mad Max variation of an RV. Steel and heavy duty. Pretty cool. I can stick magnets all over that thing. I can, it's got, uh, the whole thing's grounded now. I can get a ground anywhere I need it. Faraday cage. I have these Bluetooth earbuds that I've been trying and they lose connection just walking beside the RV. So I think that's gonna be nice. I think it's gonna be real easy to turn that into a Faraday cage. 
if I put some steel on the bottom of the floor. You gotta wait till next summer to buy some more steel. I'm gonna be saving up in the meantime. Uh, I think I only need a couple more sheets, so it won't be too big a deal. But yeah, I think just pat it just still patches to me. Oops. Patches is a special project. Ongoing. Sticker sales. Doing a sticker pack. Got a like four stickers made up. Maybe there'll be probably a fifth now that we got the steel version. We got mad patches now. We gotta make a mad patches sticker. So we can have an original patches and a mad patches. So I might be adding one more sticker to the sticker pack. Sticker pack right now is just a folder with a bunch of uh, pre-made files to get the stickers printed from. So as soon as I'm ready, it's going to be like 200 bucks. I'm setting that aside for right now. Or putting that on the back burner. Um, maybe I could do that this winter, now that we're into the rainy season. Um, yeah, I just need to send the files over and then get the, prick, the stickers printed. And we'll have a sticker pack for you. And it'll help out the channel. And I'll let you I'll give you guys an update when that comes. Same with the uh, RV souvenir pieces. Gonna be putting those on eBay. Kind of just holding off till I have a ride. I don't want to trust somebody from around here to take it into town and mail it. It's also a little sense of joy for me when I when I sell a sticker and I put it in the mail and I know it's going off to where it needs to go. It's just something I want to do. I want to be able to ship those out. So until I get a ride, I get that figured out. Or get the RV running again. Um, at some point, we'll have patches running. Just you know, we'll have her. We'll have her roadworthy before we have her completely finished. So we'll be driving around at some point, hopefully soon. At some point, we'll get those souvenir pieces up on eBay. I'll let you know as soon as that happens. I'm also undecided if I want to trim them out with something or get the edges cut and cleaned up. We'll see. Probably, probably make a video out of it. Oh, uh, why not just prime the RV? A couple of people commented that a few days before the rain, and uh, yeah, the rain. The rain was coming. I didn't have time to prime it. I wanted to weld it first. I was looking at the 16-gauge steel that was sitting out in the rain for I don't know how many years, at least 10 years, uh, according to the stories I hear around here. Uh, it wasn't that rusty, so, I mean, it was pretty rusty, but it wasn't, you know, there weren't holes eaten in it. And it's like, well, if that's 10 years of rust, then I don't really have much to worry about, I don't think experimented with the WD-40. We'll see how that turns out. Got uh, patches double tarped and there's a little heater in there now keeping the moisture out. Now, actually that worked pretty good. It's set uh, extremely low but it seems like that's all it needed. Just uh, bring the temperature up inside of patches a little bit higher than outside temperature and help to chase the moisture out. So, um, Because yeah I didn't WD-40 the inside. just did the outside where I was thinking Moisture might get trapped in between the tarp. I don't know. It's more of an experiment than anything. But she's staying dry, as far as I could tell. She's looking good. Happy with what I see in there. Little moisture. There was a lot of moisture before I put that heater in there. Oh my gosh. Walls were dripping. I, I don't really want to prime it until it's all done. I want to paint everything all at once. So, we're going to be uh, more vlogs for winter time. We'll keep you guys updated on what I'm doing. Gonna do a couple more things on patches when we get a break in the rain. Air compressor pump, we can start her up. I also want to, yeah, I got some smaller projects like for the generator. I wanna put the hour meter in it. I want to replace the pull cord and then put some heat shrink on the spot where it keeps rubbing. And the pull cord keeps fraying like really bad in just one spot. I don't know why. It seems like it's rubbing as it runs, like as the engine's running, because it, it's like a, it. It comes out more frayed than I left it. So I think it's got a rub spot. Anyway, uh, I think I could fix that with a little heat shrink. Some smaller projects, some patches projects, updates, vlogs. I'm trying to stay as busy as possible. Uh, so yeah, we got some reviews coming up, some projects, some vlogs here and there. Take you on a walk in the forest. It's beautiful, I love it out here. Red Odo uh, will do an unboxing with their battery charger and set that up and see what I, you know, get the initial setup. We'll get the inverter attached. We'll hook up all the appliances. All the appliances in my bedroom right now are what came out of the RV. So I can give a good test on the power usage while it's in the bedroom. 
and just you know see what I think. Give it a good run, hook up the charger. I'm sure there's going to be a huge difference from the lead acid to that battery. And uh, then we'll get some use out of it and keep you guys updated on how I like it. So, we've got a lot coming up. Stay tuned. I'll keep you updated, keep you posted if anything changes. I'll get you some project videos, a couple more reviews coming. Hope you all are doing well out there. Staying stocked up on food and water and diesel. Apparently that's going to... Apparently we're having some issues with that. And uh, anyway, let me know how y'all are doing down below in the comments. If you need a battery, check the description. Uh, got a couple more videos over on the gaming channel. Maybe by now we're going to stick more to unboxings on that channel. I realize the uh, doing gaming videos is just too much work to try and get that figured out. The Elgato, the color never looks right, at least through the composite connection. It's just taking away from gaming for me. It's turning gaming into work, and it's I don't really like it. I do I don't mind sharing like the first part of the game. I like doing the unboxings and presenting these old games that mean so much to me, and maybe a little gameplay. But I'm not gonna worry too much about the gameplay videos anymore. Those are um, they just take too much of my time. And when I want a game, I just want to enjoy it and relax, and not have to worry about the PC recording and what does the picture look like and is the sound synced up and is the sound even recording sometimes I do all that work and it's just the microphone wasn't working for some reason maybe a quick a uh, little quick gameplay but for right now it's just gonna be unboxing and, uh, like vlog here and there update on the uh, command center command center gaming center I have that set up so I can so I can just sit down and, and enjoy an old retro retro game here or there I don't, uh, I don't drink beer. I do games. And I hike in the woods. I don't drink coffee. My new healthy lifestyle involves uh, non, no addictive substances whatsoever. Chicken, meat, veggies, water, milk. I've started getting milk. Started getting milk again. Quit drinking milk for a while because I didn't have room in the fridge, and I don't know, an extra expense. But boy, milk is pretty good sometimes pretty satisfying. So I get milk. I'm getting those half gallons. Those will fit in my fridge. They'll fit in the door. So I get the half gallons. And that's it. You know, just healthy food and no more candy bars, no more freaking junk food at Burgerville. Gosh, I drive by McDonald's sometimes. They give me a big old extra large french fry and Big Mac, large Coke. Oh, I miss it. Of all the drugs I had to quit. That is the hardest. Sugar? fast food stuff's bad so yeah trying to keep out all this addictive stuff all right you guys stay tuned we got lots coming up gonna have a whole lot more coming in summer when I when we get back on the road so we'll uh we'll work on patches as much as I can and Keep trucking along. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.